What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, and today we're going to be talking about one on one collections from unique artists. And this is going to be covering these collections on a marketplace called Exchange Art or the website HTML exchange.art. Now, what you'll find in this episode is going to be really interesting. I want to cover a few artists that are on my radar, but should be on your radar as well, because maybe. Later on down the road, these one-on-one -on -one artworks could fetch a good return on investment. So guys, before you end up buying into these things, aping into these projects, just keep in mind, this is just my opinion, not financial advice, it's just for your own entertainment. So make sure to do your own research and never invest more than what you're willing to lose. So in this episode, I'm going to share what those artists are and why their artworks are very unique in itself. So be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety, hear my conclusion before you end up aping into any of these projects. And as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys, let's get right into it. So exchange art. Now, if you haven't been to this website, there are so many, so many different artists, so many different artworks that you should keep in mind. But there's a few that I want to keep in mind for you guys. So if we go down here, you can actually see the leadership board within one day, seven days, 30 days, or of all time. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. So we're going to go to view all. And I think the most important thing is for me, I'm going to do the 30 days because I want to show people basically who's really rocking the boat in this uh, marketplace. So we have a few people. We have John Lee Studio, DJ and Poet, LaFrance, Adam Ape, Lee Dow, which is a Dow within uh, John Lee, and so forth, so on. So let's go ahead and cover certain artists. And so I'm going to try to make it very convenient for you because the artworks that I'm covering today and the artists that I'm covering today, I think are affordable, great points of entry. I don't want to cover projects that are way too expensive because there's a huge area of loss that could happen within that time frame. Now let's go ahead and go into the first artist, and that is DGen Poet. Now DGen Poet, I've been following on Twitter quite a bit. And what I find really interesting is that they actually are the second ranking in terms of the leadership board in the past 30 days, seven days, one day. So this person has actually seen a lot of volume being traded through his artworks. And I have to say, you know, it's a very unique artwork that he does do. Sometimes I notice on his Twitter, he'll type up on a regular typewriter, like an old school typewriter, and basically develop artwork just by pressing letters on that piece of paper, which I think is actually really cool. Also, the artist is converting those into digital works of art, so switching those in real life artworks into the Web3 artworks, which are NFTs. And so there are many different artworks that you could look forward to. I mean, a lot of them are basically pretty affordable. We see some crypto punk derivatives, but also there's something I want to keep in mind. There's one artwork I want you guys to check out, and that is this one. It's called The New Light. Now, The New Light has actually been on my radar. I've seen a lot of people acquire this specific artwork by itself, but there's a supply, a limited supply of 75. Now, what I want to show you is that the price right now is around 8 Solana. Now, right now, there's only one, two, three, four of these available. And right now, only one is available for eight slots. So that could be a good entry price considering how limited supply is. But nonetheless, people are holding these. There's 75, so only four on the floor. That means people appreciate the artwork of this one specifically. And I think this is not something that you should just definitely miss out on because honestly, this is something that I think definitely defines who the artist is. Because again, I want to find out artworks that really represent who the artist is, you know, both as an artist, but also internally through their expression. So I think this is a really good avenue to look forward to have some exposure with DGen Poet. Eight Salon is not too bad. So if you're lucky enough, maybe you're one of the first people to get it for that price or maybe even cheaper. But again, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Make sure to do your own research. Now, the next person I want to share is John Lay. Now, John Lay's studio is obviously one of the most prominent one-on-one -on -one artists. He was definitely put on the map when Frank from D Gods decided to work with him and have him as an art director for the Utes NFTs. He left that position. Uh, we don't know why, but he left that position possibly to work on his own things. So there are a few collections I want to share with you that I think are a good price of entry. But the first one may not be good, but again, it's something I just want to share with you. And if you're hearing this for the first time or not familiar with the first edition, we'll just think about it like this. John Lay created this artwork called the first edition, and it was literally one of the first collections that came out with the supply. So meaning, he's really known for making one-on-one -on -one artworks. That means there's only one out there. There's only one piece of that artwork out there, even digitally, that you only can own one. 
But this guy, what he did was he created a, a supply of 500 of the same design, this this exact same artwork 500 times. So there's 500 of these prints out there in circulating supply on the Solana NFT space. So what I find really interesting is that this started a whole new trend. Now the price for this, unfortunately, is not, I think, a price that I could actually enter in. 21 Solana is actually quite a lot. So what's another collection that I think could give you more exposure? Well, the most affordable one I think is actually GM, also known as Good Morning. Now, Good Morning was actually uh, at a high price of almost around 20 Solana, but can you believe it? It's actually slightly dipped down. It's actually around 5.3 Solana at the time of this recording, which I think is actually a great point of entry considering that there's 750 in terms of supply. But what's great about this is that this is an artwork that is not just affordable, but I also think represents one of the true essence of John Lay. And GM, we say this on Twitter, we say this in the Web3 space a lot, which is GM, which is good morning a lot, just to greet the community. The fact that he titled this uh, that way is pretty unique. So this artwork is actually great in terms of my opinion. I think this is really affordable. But maybe you want to try something else. Maybe there's another collection that you want to check out. Well, if you want to know, if you owned either the first edition or GM, you were given a whitelist spot for his next release. What is that? And that is called this. IODA or aka death to all robots now what's interesting about this is that this is a comic book that's going to come out that's actually going to have a hardcover so what's great about this is that if you buy this for say for instance around five Solana which is around the lowest price at the time of this recording you will have access to the process and the making of this comic book and also you'll get the completion of this comic book as a hardcover sent to the collectors which is you and there will be special features reserved only for collectors, which we don't know as of yet. But again, this is something that you could be a part of. This is a story by John Lay, which I think is really interesting. His artwork, again, is number one in terms of the leadership board on exchange art. So I definitely think that this is definitely worth getting some exposure. I, maybe this could definitely have a great return on investment. But there is, keep in mind, 1500 supply. So that's actually a lot larger than the previous two collections that we brought up. But is this something that you should get involved in? Well, let that be a determining factor for you. This is just supposed to be informational. Now, next up, the next artist I want to cover is called Resist. Now, Resist is an amazing artist. Now, the reason I have exposure to Resist is he designed the artwork for the Degen Sweepers, which has been rebranded to Degens. He's the official artist of that collection. And that's how I kind of got to know him. But as you can see here, his artworks are fetching for a lot of money. Look at this, 99 Solana, 100 Solana, 125 Solana, so forth, so on. And these are not even for sale down here. So right now he has two collections that are able to be bought right now on Exchange Art. Now, what are those artworks? Well, let's focus on the very first one, which is a heart worth breaking. Now, this is one of the first collections that came out within a limited supply. This supply is number 50. So there's only 50 in terms of circling supply. Now, the lowest cost right now is around 5.9 Solana. That's the lowest cost of entry for this actual NFT. But this definitely represents the artist. He's definitely got a lot of traction, a lot of great trading volume. But again, seven out of 50, 50 is very, very small. It's not even in the hundreds. So I want to give a shout out to Resist because he's a really great artist. I think you guys should definitely keep in mind. But not only that, let's keep another one in mind, which is this one, F the Meta. And now F the Meta right now, the lowest cost is around 2.99 Solana. So that's obviously a cheaper price of entry for you. And again, his artwork could definitely fetch for way more than what it's actually put on right now in the terms of the market floor. But I love his like grunginess, his edginess, his punk rockness, but it reflects in his artwork. And also, if you need to know this, Resist is actually a self-taught artist. He taught everything himself, which I thought was really cool. So you can see that there is a story being told and it took him a long time to get here, or maybe not that long in terms of what an artist sees as a long time. But nonetheless, this is a great collection. So has it been informative? Well, let's go ahead and share the last artist. And that is this person. Now, this is called La France. Now, La France has a very unique artworks but one particularly that i want you guys to keep in mind and that is solana hq now this guy has around 1900 solana trading volume which is not bad but this one specifically i want to keep in mind because i love gif files i love motion graphics within artworks so this is called solana hq aka headquarters now what's great about this is that it's actually a great price now with a 6.99 solana price i think that's not bad considering that the supply is 222 but to me, if you want to get any exposure, this is the best exposure you can get with this artist because his other ones are fetching for way, way more. And I love the artwork here. It has this like anime Japanese feel. 
Plus, I love the snow effects and the lights. I love the motion graphics around it. To me, I feel like this stands out a lot because it isn't just a stagnant image, it's like actual moving. And so what I love about it is that it says we build and it's literally a video in itself telling you a story of what this is. And it also says good morning down below. So hopefully that was helpful. So let's go ahead and conclude this video. So there are many different artists out there on exchange art. One-on-one -on -one artists are gonna be a thing pretty soon. I really do believe that. I really do believe that exchange art will show people that this is going to highlight a lot of unique artists, not just people who are trying to do 10,000 collections, which could be a cash grab or a rug, say for instance. This is really uh, a really interesting protocol. And if you don't know this, Exchange Art actually vets their artists. They do a really good job making sure that they don't have any rugs. So what we have with problems with other marketplaces is that they just release collections without really doing their due diligence of doxing or getting to know who the artist is. On Exchange Art, what I try to do, say for instance, I wanted to create some artwork and what they do is they interview you and they make sure that you are the artist. They also want to see proof that you were in the process of making that artwork. If you just create an image and you just stole it from Google, say for instance, and you said, hey, this is my artwork, well, they're gonna ask for proof of that. They wanna see how you drew it. They wanna see how you developed it. And so that for me sounds like this is a real, like a real legitimate marketplace that really wants to highlight people's work and they choose wisely who they wanna showcase. So right now you can see who's on the leadership board, maybe to help you understand where you should stand in terms of where you wanna buy artworks from because the closer you are to number one, I feel the safer it is in terms of your investment. So let that be a determining factor. So guys, let me know down in the comments below, is there an artist out there on exchange art that we have not covered? Is there an artwork on exchange art that you want us to cover? Because again, we've only covered a few artists that I think are absolutely bullish in my opinion in terms of their collection and as them as artists. But maybe you guys have something that you want to share with me. Well, I'd love to hear those comments down below or on Twitter or on YouTube, but please, 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 please share what those artworks and artists are. I'd love to highlight them on this channel because they deserve recognition. So guys, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page as it helps support this channel. And also you can get a lot of our alpha calls on what we are buying, also what we are selling. But also you'll get the heads up before we end up announcing these uh, purchases or any of our alpha calls publicly on our videos. And this is just a great example of one of those. So guys, as always, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Join our Patreon page for all our private alpha calls, investment strategies, and one-on-one -on -one consultations in the link below. Limited spaces are available, so be sure to reserve your spot today. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.